This picture illustrates under the rear of the car on the left side looking at the inner part of the lower control arm. Remove the 10 millimeter fasteners, green arrows. You do not need to remove the roll bar sensor to remove this fastener. You can just move the sensor arm down to give you more room to remove the fastener. On the front side of the control arm, remove the 10 millimeter fastener as indicated by the green arrow. Remove the lower control arm plastic cover. Pull it straight off the control arm to detach it. You do not need to remove the brake caliper and rotor to perform this procedure. We only remove the rear brake caliper and rotor to provide you with a better view of what we are doing. Working at the lower control arm, loosen the 16 mm fastener for the rear shock absorber. Our replacement fasteners were 16 mm, but the original fasteners would be 17 mm. So be prepared with additional size wrenches and sockets. Do not remove the fastener from the lower control arm yet. Use a jack to support the lower control arm from falling down. Safely place a jack under the lower control arm to support it. You may have to lift it a little to take the tension off of the fastener, green arrow. Pull the fastener out in the direction of the blue arrow, pulling up and out. Working in the trunk, fold the carpet on the left side of the trunk out of the way until you can see the access hole for the shock. This picture shows the left side of the trunk with the forward carpet panel folded out of the way. Remove the 17 mm fastener, green arrow, for the rear shock absorber upper mount. You may need to use a small pair of vice grip pliers to hold the rear shock absorber shaft, yellow arrow. You do not need to remove the rear gas tank panel to remove the rear shock absorber upper body mount, but it does give you much more room to fit the vice grips, green arrow, and a wrench. Here I have done so to give you a better view. Remove the rear shock absorber upper bushing from the top of the rear shock absorber. Lower the jack and push the upper shaft of the rear shock absorber, green arrow, down slightly and remove it from the mounting hole in the body, yellow arrow. Pull the rear shock absorber upwards to remove it from its mount in the lower control arm. This may be a tight fit. You can tap it out of the control arm mount with a mallet or lever it out with a small pry bar. Installation is the reverse of the removal steps. Typically, the shock absorber is usually too long to fit neatly in between the lower control arm and the body mounts. I suggest you use your weight and strength to compress the shock absorber as much as you can before installing. While the rear shock absorber is slowly expanding, position it in the lower control arm and allow it to fully expand up into the upper body mounting hole. You can then use a jack to help line up the lower control arm fastener mounting holes and raise the shock absorber up into the upper mounting hole. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.